Now it's time, I think, to store the big old heavy boob tube. As much as I love having this for the old retro games, the PS1 is crapped out, and I need to focus on fixing the RV. As much as I love my games and the adventures they bring me on, it, this just isn't very practical. I'm almost willing to try a more modern screen. I have an older flat screen that might be perfect right here and be just a tiny fraction of what this weighs. And this back plastic cap is so brittle, it's just disintegrating as I drive, so. It's time to store it. I'm gonna store the games too. I just wanna take a break and focus on the RV until I have less. Let's get the roof fixed. Let's get a few things fixed. I might even just set this up in the storage unit and have a little gaming sector in the storage facility for myself. It will also be really nice to have another table to put my projects on when I'm working or set my groceries when I get home or from the store, get back from the store. All right, let's get this heavy old thing out of here. Gosh, this thing is, yeah, that's a lot of weight. Got my Elgato stuff set aside. I don't know if anyone saw the vlog of me getting this all set up, but that was such an accomplishment. It felt so good to get this going and recording and everything up and everything all dialed in. I'm glad I figured out how to use it. I'm just going to store that stuff right now as well. Holy moly, does that look weird and feel weird. I've had that TV there for so long. Really wanted to get more gaming videos in, but it's just... It's hard to do when you're trying to live in an RV that's breaking down all the time. But we'll save it for later. Yeah, that is strange. But that's a lot of weight off the RV. A lot of weight from high up, too. I think next time I'll just try putting up... I got an older flat screen. An old version of this, but it's actually got built-in speakers. Alright, got the Elgato. Yeah, uh, nice little box along with the cables, USB. I'm loving having this space freed up. Get the packages packed up for the storage unit. This is the Onan parts. I brought this here thinking I might actually work on that. But oh, I'm just. There's no way I got time. Saving it for later though, I do want to do it. It's why it's here. I just uh, can't find the time. Got to get this roof fixed. Uh, so yeah, Onan Parts boxed up the uh, ham radio sent in by a viewer. That uh, I was feeling bad about that. It's just bouncing around in here collecting dust. I'm going to get my license first and then we'll pull that back out and mount it. As well as relocate that scanner over there. Also going to box up that PlayStation. It needs a new... needs to be worked on. Grocery bags, yeah. Excess amount of grocery bags. So I stuffed those in there for some padding. This thing is fully padded, and we've got some grocery bags for later, just in case. Uh, come in handy. Agato and cables. Right, now let's get this box up for safekeeping. Yeah, this is great. I'm gonna have. Uh, this could be really handy for projects too. A little more room to spread out. Uh, let's untangle those. And I don't plan on putting a boob tube back in here. It's just too heavy and takes up way too much power. I've got a smaller uh, screen, somewhat about that size. It's from 2009, so it's a little older. Still a flat screen. It's got HDMI input. But I think that might work pretty good. It's lightweight. Alright, PS1 all boxed up safe and sound. Come back to this when I'm ready to do a little repair job. Put all these into a bag. I got a Tupperware in the storage unit for storing these so I can easily find them. And I got a box for the N64 and controller. Baggies, little boxes. 
these will be handy. Aiden Chronicles. This will be back pretty shortly. Maybe in a few months when the weather cools down and I can run more electronics without so cooking myself in here. Alright, let's get those stored and safe. Free up a little space. Hey, look at that. It kind of brightens up the area having that big old boob out of there. I like it. In the future, I'll just put like a little. Just put another one of these. Maybe even removable. Oh, what a beautiful morning. It's, it's like 70 degrees out. I think the weather said 71. Feels awesome. A little breezy. Came out here to the compost pile to dump off some kale that was turning yellow. I got a bunch of blackberries growing. Just dropping off some kale. Now look at this, these big old berries. They're probably everywhere. Got the birds some food this morning. They're already making a bunch of noise. Ugh, another hot one. Just shut everything down. No PC. Actually, it's finishing an update. It should be off here soon. Got one more thing to box up. This picture frame was pretty cool. But it makes some noise and uh, needs a little maintenance. Figure I should just put that away and keep it nice. I would like to eventually put a computer monitor here. But for right now and for the foreseeable future, it is emergency toilet paper and paper towel storage. Oof. Yeah, pretty nasty, but it's uh, nowhere near the temperature it was during that heat wave. I think it's like 101. AC cranked up and curtain closed. One hundred degrees today, that's what the phone says. Just started the roof repair and it's anyway, it's like starting to get super hot out, so I'm in here hiding a little bit. I need to eat breakfast. It's, ever since I quit caffeine, I've actually got really steady hands. Unless I'm not eating. I might not be shaky, but I feel shaky. Like my belly's grumbly. Eat calories. I'll just do some hard boiled eggs. This is kind of a staple food of mine for breakfast. Goes down easy. It's easy to make. I get these 18 packs of these cheap uh, Oakdale egg farms locally produced. And this will give me some energy to go finish that roof repair. I like to cut these in half. So I can mash up the uh, yolk. Looks like that got a little overcooked. Just a little bit. I'd rather be overcooked than undercooked because then uh, the eggs peel freaking amazing. They're nice and firm. Otherwise, they're sticking to the shell and kind of peeling up the whites. Stick some down here. Give it a mash. Kind of powderize it. Get it ready to accept some mayonnaise. Okay, then I got a couple slices coming up of this. All right, there's breakfast. Sometimes I add mustard or relish, but I usually just go with the standard egg sandwich.
cool day today. I was like a, up in the hundreds yesterday. Should be uh, low 90s today. It'll be nice. I'm about to put this blackberry back out to the wild. I had some fun with it. Um, but I'm going to be hitting the road at some point, And I really, no, nobody's, nobody here is going to take care of it. So I was trimming, I was going to trim this back. This thing grew like this much in just a day. It's never seen a plant grow that fast. But it's taken off like crazy. You can see I've been snipping it back, kind of just keeping it like a in the shape of a T. And this was just a little sprout and I was going to snip that back. And just keep building on this main trunk. You see it's getting a little woody there. Pretty cool. I always wanted to have a potted blackberry but it's just some avocado seeds that are st actually starting here now S I'll see if the ranch owner wants to take those and I'll put out the oak as well roof repair has begun no turning back now. Holy moly, it's a doozy. You guys stay tuned. Big video coming up for you. <laughs> 